Hey, they lock you in jail and you forget to take off the prison uniform? Are you here to finish your kill? Or to tell me that if you wanted me dead, I would be by now? Actually, yes. Yes, what? You can relax. If you hadn't helped me, I would be in a garbage dump by now, rotting away. And there's no benefit in killing you. For now. Wow. I wrote down my telephone number in case we want to exchange information. Maybe you won't like this priest, but now I'm the only one you can trust. I certainly don't like it. Okay. If my memory still works, this should be your house. You know, it's not that bad in the daylight. Forgive me if I didn't let you take the wheel, but I don't trust a priest who just got out of jail. You were too nervous to drive anyway. No, I... I was just looking for something I can't find. My Bible. It seems your pockets aren't so reliable, wouldn't you say? First the keys, now this. Fire your tailor, priest. Are you staring at me? Oh, my earring. You're thinking I let things fall out too. No, no. I wear it just on one side. It's called fashion. Don't try to understand. Have I already told you to fire your tailor? Give me back the car keys. So, unless you plan to report me... You won't do it, huh? Maybe you understand the police won't help you in this story. On the contrary, they will probably try to stop you. Maybe it would stop some other senseless murder, though. Give me a break. It was useful, wasn't it? On the free lotion sample you gave me, there is an address. So now I've got my lead. You have yours. Everybody's happy. Just... just stay away from me, Sylvia. I truly want to, priest. Believe me. But guess what? It seems destiny has decided otherwise for us. I don't believe in destiny. Mario. Oh! Hey, Doc! Perfect timing! I'm just finishing fixing the TV, so you can see that baseball of yours in Italy, too. But really, you should have explained the rules a bit better. Yesterday, I tried to watch a match, and I didn't understand a thing, Doc. Well, maybe I simplified too much. Done! Oh, you have to excuse me for going in, but when I discovered you weren't at home, I used my brother-in-law's master key and... What happened? Are you okay? You're so pale. Your friend? No, nothing new about Cristoforo. It's just that, well... It's been quite a rough day. Rough day? Doc, <laughs> the day is just getting started. Oh, right. It's morning. I didn't realize. Ah, I guess you need one of my special cocktails to recover. Coffee with junk stuff in it. You know, it's the junk stuff that's the real secret. Come down to the bar. Maybe later, Mario. I need to clear my mind first. You know where to find me. I could hit the hay and close my eyes for a week, but Cristoforo, he counted on me. Counting. He's counting on me. Maybe I should start investigating that symbol I saw on the ring. The one I found in the Raja. A ring with a strange symbol. I've never seen anything like this before. I guess I should analyze all the elements composing the seal.
I need to know more. I need to know more. Hmm, interesting. A copy of History of Symbology is in Santa Brigida's house. Maybe that's the reason Cristoforo stayed there. I suppose I'll have to go back to visit my nun friend. Go live now to our correspondent, Giuseppe, are you here? Yes, Giorgio, I'm in front of the Villa Marina in Rome, and I have to report some very disconcerting news. The famous Roman entrepreneur, Roberto Avila, was just killed by gunfire. We were just around the corner. We heard the shots and ran over. The police have not arrived yet, so we're the very first to break the news. The Bible! I must have dropped it last night. I can't leave it there. Roberto Avila was killed just after my break-in at the mansion. I can't believe it's a mere coincidence. I can leave no trace behind, or I risk the police getting in my way. Furthermore, I feel... I can't go on until I've found it. Roberto Avila's mansion. He's another victim of this story. But I can't see my Bible. I hope it's still around here. Hey, you shouldn't be here. Didn't my colleague blocking the street stop you? No. He seems to have left. Let's hear it. Didn't you see the barriers either? Well, actually, those... You must leave right now. I'm not the tour guide. I'm not a tourist. I'm a doctor. Never seen a doctor dressed that way. Anyway, I'd say you're a little late. That poor guy is dead. They took away his corpse a few minutes ago. Do you know what happened? He's been shot. Maybe an execution. A neighbor saw the body and called us. No witness, it seems. When we got here, there was just this bloodsucker journalist who'd rather film his stupid scoop than call the police. Can you tell me when he was killed? Listen, I can't tell you anything at all. You must go away. Hello? Hi. Are you one of the victim's relatives? Me? No. A friend? No. Maybe you're his confessor. I've seen your report on the news. Oh, good. Great. I heard there was a spike in the ratings during my report. It was such luck I was passing by. You know, I was supposed to interview that actor, the one who plays the part of that Sicilian inspector on TV. But while I was going to his house, I saw that body on the street. So you don't normally deal with the crime news? Well, after today's report, they'll probably promote me. You were talking about luck. There's a dead man involved, in case you hadn't noticed. Oh, yes. You're right. I should have obtained such a great report some other way. For example, if there were two dead bodies. What? Come on, you don't know who the owner of the mansion is. Avila wasn't exactly a kind man. That doesn't mean that... He asked for it. Morning at mass, an escort at night, a bullet right in the heart the day after. Many of them die like that. Do you think the victim was mixed up in a bad scene? He was an entrepreneur, and he was loaded. Do you know any honest man like that? Don't you like your job? Look, I have a talent for crime news, for inquiries. Once I wrote for the Eco de Roma, dealing with a kidnapping case, but then someone stole my entire story. All you need is to sway your hips and have green eyes to go far in this city. So you fell back to interviews? Yes, but I just waited for the right moment to come back to the limelight. And finally, the wheel turned. I was in the right place at the right moment, and before the police. Then why are you still here? That policeman doesn't seem interested in chit-chatting. Actually, I'm waiting for him to leave. Why? Well, because... because I'd like to take some other photos of the crime scene. He's lying. I mean, to have a look around, you know. Was anything found near the body? Why... why are you asking me? Well, you said you arrived on the scene before the police. Yes, but there wasn't anything near the victim, and... 
Even if I did find something, I would have surely given it to that officer, don't you think? I'm sure I saw my Bible in the news report. I bet my scalpel this journalist decided to hide it from the authorities, thinking it was evidence. But the officer talked about a phone call from a neighbor, and you haven't even... Look, just mind your own business, okay? Okay. Now I'm ready to bet everything I have in my pockets. Well, I'll let you do... whatever it is you do. A public service, dude. Why are you all alone? Well, it was a madhouse before. But after they took the corpse away, there were only a few of us left. This thing seems like a score settling or something like that. There's not much work here for detectives and forensics. Now they're probably all following the story of that sunken ship. There's only this pain in the neck left here. A sunken ship? Haven't you heard? It's incredible. You won't hear anything else on TV in the next few days, I bet. I'm sure that journalist found something and hid it from the authorities. That explains why he's still here. But he probably did it in a hurry, so he might have used this dumpster to hide the evidence. It seems close enough. Hey, wouldn't that be the scene of a crime? Please, don't touch anything. In fact, just leave. Sorry. So, any clues who it might have been? Listen, I'm not a detective. Maybe well, that sure mirror will let idea. me see what's behind what the garbage bin. Part? I think you shouldn't be here. Everyone else has already left the place. Let's hmm. just say I'm waiting There's to really something under there, on, attached with some tape. Can't you do that somewhere There's else? really something behind. I like this place. Here's my Bible. Thank God. The journalist must have hidden it Are here, thinking it was evidence. Are you kidding me? Not at all. You could unveil all the behind-the-scenes information. I also about see another book, you know, the a sort of organizer. The bloody details, it probably belonged to Avila. Become a star. I'm sorry, but it's not really my style. Maybe I should make the same offer to your chief. Perhaps he has more of a freestyle. There's a weird wooden pen tucked inside the organizer. It's a series of documents referring to various bank movements. Masamino's name is mentioned, along with a certain Monsignor. This logo on the next page must belong to Dream Res. I should make a copy. It could prove useful. You again? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. But... First the accident, then all those devilish temptations, and now this terrible, terrible headache. What do you want, young man? Talk! How do you want to ruin this day, too? Well, I... I mean, I just, just dropped by here. I, I only wanted to, yeah, to say hi. And? And, and I need a book from your library. I knew it. More problems.
It's nice to see you again, Sister Big Mouth. Um, I mean, Sister, um... Oh, doesn't matter, young man. Call me what you want. I sometimes forget my real name, too. This place is still deserted, I see. Yes, can you believe it? Father Superior and the others are late because of a cancelled flight. I told them not to trust those... those things with wings. Do you know when they'll be back? It's just a matter of hours now. But to tell you the truth, I changed my mind. I don't want them back anymore. Why? Well, tonight I drowned all my worries and thoughts in that delicious nectar. I mean in that hellish stuff you gave me yesterday. Are you talking about the grappa? Did you drink the entire bottle? Heavens, yes. God forgive me. And look at me now. I'm completely stunned. I can't focus. I've got bad breath. And above all, my head is pounding. I can't let the Mother Superior see me like this, or, or she'll find out how much I drank. She would surely throw me out of here. What about the saying, the truth will set you free? Yeah, I know that movie. I was quoting the Bible. Oh, yeah, right. That one, too. Anyway, young man, unless I'm mistaken, you were the one telling me to take everything with a grain of salt. I mean, that kind of stuff. Cum grano salis? Yes. Believe me, if the Mother Superior finds out what I've done, the truth will set me homeless, that's for sure. I'm looking for a peculiar book about symbology. I know your library has a copy of it. How can you be so sure? Internet. What is that? A football team? Oh, no. Okay, I got it. Can I go look for it? Good God, don't you dare! The police limited access to staff only, and the last thing I want is to break another rule. Okay. Well, if I tell you the name of the book, could you find it for me? I'd be very grateful. Are you mad? I can't go searching for a book hidden who knows where and leave my position here. I've already had enough trouble. Listen, I really need that book. Maybe we could make a deal. Don't even think about it. I'll never make another deal with you. Why not? Because you always get me in trouble. You, you look like a generous and decent man, but instead, you're exposing me to temptation. She's not completely wrong. Giving her that bottle of grappa was a cheap shot. And now, I have to deal with the consequences of my weak will. Damn headache. Have you tried an aspirin? I've taken ten of those, but nothing. It won't leave me in peace. Hmm. Were you hoping to exchange a simple pill for a favor? Actually... Absolutely not. It's just that, you know, I'm a doctor. I know how to deal with headaches. I could prepare you an effective remedy for your hangover. What do you mean? That I'm a drunkard? Look, I've just drunk a little, nothing more. Has it never happened to you? No. Anyway, if I'm right, with your headache will come nausea. Yes, yes, in fact. Dizziness? I have it. And a cranky mood? Oh, no, I, I don't have that. Are you sure? Since I've been here, well, you've been attacking me. I was just telling you that there's people here with a job to preserve, and if you come from America to destroy our simple and quiet life, well, you can go to he Oh, my head. Let's put it this way. I'll make you feel better, and you will do the best you can to let me have that book. But how do we solve the bad breath problem? They will throw me out of here as soon as I open my mouth. Smell this. <sighs> <coughs> Good God. It's not... <coughs> not so bad. They... They won't realize a thing, believe me. Hmm. Listening to you again could lead me to the edge of the abyss. You could be the devil's emissary. I mean, it's your fault I'm feeling so bad. Think about it. 
I could represent the devil's seduction or a possible means for your redemption. It all depends on the choice you make, doesn't it? And now I'm suggesting you set a mistake right. So much for ethics. Mm. You and your deals. So, do you want to feel better or not? All right. Go make this amazing remedy and I'll give you what you need. But hurry up. See you later, sister. Do you really have to?